been fortunate to go up to the, the uh, tap room there in Manchester. Pretty damn good place when Paul from PA Bruno's come across back in March. Um, so yeah, this has got so it's malted barley, oats, lactose, dextrose, lime zest, water, hops, and yeast in this one. Uh, free 30 ml bottle, best before the 12th of October of 2018. So yeah, there's a bottle cap. Thank you so much to my good buddy um, Peter over the Clues Drinker for sending me this beer. Sent me three beers, this is the last of them. I'm getting wafts of aroma already, so. I've had it a little while, this beer, but I just wanted to get this kind of type of beer out of the way, you know, within reason. Look at that colour. Very kind of like a uh, yeah lemony lemon sherbet looking colour very kind of meringue almost it's a very fluffy half a finger pure white head hazy but yeah bags of carbonation in this one look at this bloop, 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 bloop. so yeah let's get an aroma on this one then Ooh, wow bags of lime as you expect with it on the bottle and it's it's there kind of um, underripe pineapple trying to a little bit kind of musky Yeah, musky, but not in a not in a dank way. If that makes sense. Hmm. Let's give it a try at this stage of the pour because I think the the bottom of this is going to be quite. Yes, it is quite um, a bit of yeast going on in there. So let's give it a try. Cheers, cheers, Pete, mate. Thank you. A little bit prickly, kiwi, on a taste, dry. I don't know what hops are in this. Did I mention it? I don't think I did. I wouldn't be shocked if there's um, Australian hops in this one. Very drying. Maybe New Zealand. I don't know. If anyone knows, down below. Prickly pear, lime, bags of lime. I'm quite familiar with lime having, I do like a home stir fry and I, I always cut off a few limes and all over the top. So, yeah, for sure. Zesty, zingy, zingy, for sure. But acid wise, yeah. I've had more kind of that acidy kind of sensation before in other beers that, you know, have been really kind of fresh and green, if you like. I get Sometimes I, I get a little bit of acid um, reflux with some of these beers. I was a bit worried about this one, but this one actually doesn't feel too bad at this stage anyway. Was, I'll probably regret it later, but but yeah, well, it, it's very nice though. It's very juicy. It's very drinkable. Very approachable. Um, if I had seen this sitting there, I'd be thinking, "Oh, acid IPA may put me off." But actually, it's not too bad. I'm getting a bit of kind of pear juice now coming through pear drops, that kind of thing, as well. Nice. So this should um, hold the glass properly. It'll probably murk up a little bit. I'm trying to get all this gunk. If you don't want all the gunk from the bottom of the bottle in, in your beer, don't do what I'm doing. Just just pour it slowly, but I'm going to pour it all in. And as you can see, that's like a, a smoothie now. It's actually looking quite dark, this side of the light, but to you it's obviously a bit 
and the other side it's going to be a lot lighter isn't it so uh, but yeah murky it looks very kind of smooth now even even the, the, the head now is not it's not fluffy or pillowy it's it's more of a kind of a dense tightly packed bubbles on the head as I pour the rest of that in as you can see but yeah it's getting aroma yeah more cream almost like a creamy aroma if that makes sense that kind of bread white bread let's get a taste more rounded not so sharp but at the end oh that lime zest bang oh I wasn't expecting that damn good beer though damn good beer creamy definitely a, a meringue kind of thing going on like a lime meringue if you like um, I think the only way you'd improve this if you got that, that kind of a little bit more of a kind of biscuitiness to it maybe like a a um, like a, you know the old Hovis biscuits you used to get if you had a little bit of that in that would be amazing but it's still really good but yeah sweet for sure um, don't know the I've used to this one so it's five it says five percent on untapped um, five point five percent on the bottle so they must have done a few batches of this beer um, it's been on untapped since 28th of August of 2017 so there you go um, give me one more taste I'll give it a, a rating check out Peter's channel I'll put the link down below good buddy Mm. that kind of um, that dryness isn't quite there now before I put the last part of the bottle in there was that dryness while I was going on about hops wise no idea um, but yeah nice body to this beer in terms of rating them for me um, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 um, so it's a 4 caps out of 5 for untapped so let me know what you think you've had this one before down below. Over to Untap then. It's only had 661 check-ins, uh, only six in the last month. 596 ratings coming in at 3.72. So that's not quite seven and a half out of ten, um, or there or thereabouts. So, but I'm giving it an eight. Um, so yeah, check out Trap Brewing Company. Fantastic stuff they've been doing. Um, I, I really am a big fan of Track Brewing Company. I, I think they're uh, they're up there with the best dozen breweries in the country for me so uh, but yeah check them out thanks again Peter and I'll see you in the next review cheers